Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the CEO Spotlight Series for Unitech Training Academy. My name is Noah Brandon, the CEO, and today I have with us Ms. Julie Bluen, Career Service Coordinator for Baton Rouge Campus. Welcome, Julie. Thank you. Nice to be here. I'm today. so happy to have you. I'm, I'm glad to be here too. Well, I'm good. excited to be here. <laughs> oh, good. Well, tell us a little bit about yourself, Julie. Okay, I've been married for over 45 years. I have two kids, uh, Chantel and Irvin Jr. I have six grandkids. And I mind that I attended Southern University. I have my undergrad in education and I have my master's in communication. I am a lecturer official for the Ascension Parish School System. I'm a school board member. I also have worked various jobs to get to where I am today. Well, cool. Well, well tell go, me how I got Yeah, go a little further. How, yes, what, what led you to, to Unitech? Unitech? Yeah. Okay, in the process of getting to Unitech, I, I worked as a teacher, I taught high school. I also uh, work as a detective at the Ascension Parish uh, Sheriff's Office, and I also work at the Louisiana Correction Institution for Women. Outside the fact that I spent eight years at another proprietary school as a career service counselor. And after that eight years I spent at that school, I decided, okay, I'm gonna retire. Uh, yeah, I retired for three years. Uh, I think after that three years, I had an incident where my grandson died. And when my grandson died, it made me have to go back to work. I had to go back to work because of just to do something with myself. And it was lucky the fact that Unitech was hiring. And I went in on the last day that God planned it to get the job. I interviewed with Chris and Nikki, and the rest is history. I'm here. <laughs> oh, man. You have such an interesting background, and I love it. So how's all that played into how you are today as a professional? I think every job I had made me who I am. Yeah. I, I learned so much from every position and in life itself. I learned that you, you don't judge people on how they look because in the prison system, you, you look at certain people and you say, oh, why are they there here? But you got to know the story. And I think because of that, I learned to listen to what people was all about. I learned, and as the detective, I can sit down and observe people and know who would do what and why are they doing it. So in the midst of all that, that made me good at what I'm doing. When I walk into a student, I know when they're telling me the truth and I know when they're lying to me. <laughs> so I know when they want help and when they don't. So I think just being me and all the experience together make me who I am as a career service representative that do good at, I'm good at what I'm doing. I'm just. Well, good. you are. <laughs> Really what I do. <laughs> well, you're good, even if you I listen. Just said it, yeah. Not only do you believe it, but your numbers back it up. Uh, yeah. Students in Baton Rouge are going to work. They are going to, and, and they are going to work, and they are enjoying it. I mean, I think it's more than just going to work and let them do it. It's going to work and let them know that they are good at what they do. Yeah. You know, you the whole time they're there, I have a relationship with my students. From the time they walk in to the time they leave is always building their confidence, It's always making them know that they are good, making them know that they are worthy of what they're doing, all the struggle that they're going through, that they deserve at the end of the day, a job that's gonna pay them what they deserve. So it's not just waiting till they finish that you're gonna to talk to them, it's that whole period of time. You know, we come, our kids come sometimes with broken hearts and broken minds, and I guess I can relate because the reason, and I must say that's the reason I got that job, I think it's because God sent. It's not a job to me. It's an assignment. It's something that God want me to, I get emotional when I talk about that, but it's something that God want me to do. And I, and, I, and I don't take it as a job. I take it as something that is making a difference in somebody's life, and it's serious. At the end of the day, how you want to leave this world is leave a mark on people, not on, on things is leave them off on people. And that's what I do. Yeah. Yeah. You do a great job. Man, it's such a, it's, a, it's, it's so fun to like listen to you. You have such a passion for your job and what you do and how you help our students. What are some philosophies that you try to bring that you instill in the students when they're looking for their next career? And my philosophy is very simple. is to treat people the way that I want to be treated. Okay. At the end of the day, and I tell them that is, is, is how you treat people is, People not gonna remember what you what you say or what you do. People gonna remember how they feel about you. And I want them to feel that they are comfortable with me, that they trust me, that I'm I care enough about them to want the best for them. And I think I do that 
in making sure that they know that they are somebody. They are they are being listened to, they are being heard, and they are they are being I could call them on the phone and they know my voice. Okay, Miss Julie, I'm gonna do this. Because I'm there always. I'm just and I, I love what I do. At the end of the day, if you don't love what you do, you're not gonna be good at it. You got to love what you do. Yeah, and it's obvious you do, right? I mean, I, I think do. that's, we start looking, okay, what makes people successful? What makes people not successful, right? And you are so bought in to what you're doing and helping them that they probably feel that love from you. They do. And thus, they're more successful, right? Because they're listening to you, they receive your advice and going through. I mean, do you think that is something that makes you unique in your role? I, <laughs> What make me unique is the fact that I'm at a stage in my life where I really don't care what they do, what they do. I don't. I'm at a stage in my life that I will do what I think is best for them. You yeah. know? I mean, I'm, they, most of them take me as their mom or their grandmother. They listen to me because I'm going to tell them when they're right and I'm going to tell them when they're wrong. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm not going to make it pretty. I'm just going to be me. Yeah. And as my philosophy is the fact to just be me at the end of the day, I can't be nobody else. I think there's so much for all of us to learn from that. You know, just listening to you. I mean, I'm sitting here thinking about, man, yeah, you're right. You know, we need to just go out there and be ourselves and do what we do, you know. And uh, so many people are held back because they're just scared, right? Or they're scared to step out of line or they don't want to reach their potential. And what's so awesome about listening to you. You're all in. I mean, you're just all in on doing what you want to do to help people That's and push it. forward. And I think it's so cool. And I'm all in in making sure that they know that they're worthy. Yeah. At the end of the day, they have to be, they come in a broken hearted, broken feeling, but if they're not, when they leave out of my office, if I just say, I love you for who you are, sometimes that's all they need to hear. I, it's a smile on my face. Uh, just tell them, you know, you good, you gonna make it. Sometimes they never heard that before, but I constantly let them know that they are worthy of what, whatever they're going through. I'm really happy that you're on our team and helping <laughs> our students. Yeah, because I think it's, uh, man, it's just so refreshing to hear. I think it's, I, I love it. What do you like doing outside of work? Okay, so let's transition a little bit. What do you like to do when you're not helping our students get employed and move forward with their lives? Okay, my husband is a pastor, and I'm the first lady of a church. Okay. So between, <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got no other job. Nope. Between the church, my grandkids, who think that they own me, whatever is pleasing to them. The only time I take a little part is when I sit down and watch a good movie. I, that makes my day when I could just sit back, not have nobody bother me, and just watch a good movie. I feel that on a spiritual level. We're talking about that because <laughs> yeah. I love just tuning out and watching just watching tune, a movie. <laughs> just tuning out, just 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 let my head just watch a movie. I enjoy that. Oh man, I really enjoy talking to you today, Julie. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming and speaking no with me. No problem at all. I enjoyed it too. I'm glad everybody got a chance to get to know you a little bit today. It's great. I'm glad too. <laughs> if you're ever at the Baton Rouge campus and get a chance to meet Julie, please do. She's awesome. Totally fun to talk to. Inspirational. Julie, thanks again for coming. Thank you.